Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about levels and more specifically, the differences between digital and conventional levels. All right, so all of us are familiar with conventional levels that use a glass vial filled with a chemical solution and an air bubble to determine how perpendicular or parallel an item is in relevance to the earth. This technology was originally invented in 1661 and was first used on telescopes. Later, it was implemented into land surveying. And finally, in the mid 1800s, it was incorporated into carpentry tools. Digital levels were introduced originally in 1989 and not only helped users determine what was level or plumb, but also could measure percent of slope and degrees other than 90 and zero. Despite their outward appearances, these levels actually function similar to traditional levels, except they use a digital sensor to read a liquid filled vial inside and then simply display that information on a screen. These days, a lot of devices like gaming hardware, virtual reality headsets, and most cell phones use accelerometers to detect movement by measuring the forces exerted on tiny mechanical springs. These springs are so sensitive that they can actually measure static forces like the Earth's gravity, making them potentially useful in tools like carpenter's levels. These digital red stick levels from Milwaukee state that they're using pinpoint technology, but they're unclear as to what that technology actually is. If you know if these levels are using accelerometers, then let me know in the comments below because I was unable to find any specific information. Regardless of what technology they're using, I think these levels make our job easier, and for that reason, I highly recommend them. I found them to be easy to use and extremely trustworthy. I think most of us have learned a hard lesson or two in the past with inaccurate carpenter's levels that have been either dropped or maybe didn't have tight tolerances from the factory. Since using these levels, we haven't experienced any of those inaccuracies, making them a valuable asset in my opinion. So that's it for this video. I'm really curious to know if you prefer conventional or digital levels and why so please let me know in the comments below and we'll see you on the next video. Oh, oh, oh.